This device allows this to happen with the two fingers that touch the ball last. In this instance, if a shooter shoots off these two last, which many do, and many shoot off these two last, in this case, we're talking about these two. By the ball coming off those two, at the same time, that's what causes success in the shot process. When there's errors, it's when one of the fingers is lower than the other. So these two must be equally heightened and the same distance away from the basket. That is already happening with the successful shooter. It's not happening with the unsuccessful shooter. So this simple splitter puts those fingers in that position automatically. And it can be tightened appropriately so. Why we miss is because we get this. When I tighten this in the back, it keeps those two in that position. Number two, in this instance, the index finger is weaker. And so by having it joined with its brother middle finger, that allows stability. Or this one, because when the ball does come off that finger, there is a lot of pressure. But the brace enables the index finger to endure because of the support of the middle finger. It tightens in the back. Pull it tight on both sides. And then it clamps. On the front part, there is tacky material right there. It provides a nice, steady, quick hold of the ball there. When we shoot a basketball, we want our two fingers to be equally heightened and the same distance away from the basket. And that happens when you succeed. When we don't succeed, one of our fingers backs up or moves off to the side. So it's a V, which is our key to the basket. That's what this device does. I also sent some sticky tape that you can put over the index finger so that it is a flesh-like material, and it will give you as much feel as you can get without being too tacky. 